welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, let me introduce myself. I am Sanchita Ghosh and I have been a beauty junkie for as long as I can remember. But it's been only a short while that I've really taken to social media to talk about my beauty experiences, my skincare and makeup woes if you were, um, to discuss them with you and perhaps along the way I will be able to help some of you um, navigate through your own beauty uh, concerns. So uh, just a disclaimer that I'm no expert, I'm not an expert makeup artist, I'm not a skin expert. Whatever I share with you, it is really about my own experiences. So anyway, we've got Holi coming and I thought why not do a quick video on how to prepare for Holi and how to look after your skin and hair after the festivities are over. So let's start with how to prepare for it. So the first thing that I would do uh, to protect my hair from holy colors is by oiling it well and my current favorite is the Kama Ayurveda Bringadi Intensive Hair Oil and if you watch one of my earlier videos which I am going to link somewhere up there you can figure out how I have enjoyed using uh, the Kama hair oil so I would really go in deep and not just massage my scalp but also right through the lengths of my hair and what I would do is tie up my hair I can only do a ponytail because as you can see my hair is quite short I would just make a ponytail now why tie your hair now if you have longer hair I would suggest you take it into a braid or tie it into a bun this just prevents from too much color settling into your hair now once I'm done with my hair I'm going to protect my skin now it depends on your skin type now what I would usually do because I have very oily skin is I would do two things um, one I would layer um, you know a moisturizer uh, currently I am using the Dr. Shades basic brightening uh, vitamin lotion it's uh, quite a good um, moisturizer and pretty okay for my oily skin so I would generously lather this over my skin now if you have super oily skin you can also go with gel based uh, moisturizers uh, it's really up to you but uh, remember be very generous with that we need a good barrier between your skin and the colors remember everyone is not going to be playing with safe colors like you and me they might put a lot of um, you know chemical based gulal uh, on your face or maybe those wet colors uh, which can really really harm your skin so I would go with this and the second step that I would do remember because we're also stepping out during Holi is I would also go in with a good sun protection factor I currently use the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer um, and this is really good for oily and combination skin this is also water resistant so unless you've been really put under a tap and scrubbed well uh, this um, you know um, sunblock is not going to wash off uh, so easily so uh, this is something that uh, is, has been my favorite and I really love this it gives you another layer of protection against color and for the rest of my body uh, I usually go in with um, you know this apricot oil uh, this is not a great uh, this is not a very well-known brand but this is from the Terry Supi Sugan Terry stands for the Energy uh, Research Institute and um, this is manufactured by them and the products are all locally collected from farms who actually learn a lot from Terry about sustainable farming uh, methods so this is 100% pure apricot oil. You can go in with coconut oil or whatever other body oil that you may have at home. And generously apply all over your body. Don't forget to cover your neck as well because you know the colors really comes and collects here. And if you, uh, I would advise you to wear full sleeve uh, clothes like I'm wearing. Uh, but often we get excited and we don't want to wear uh, full sleeves which is just fine, perfectly fine. But just remember that you're protecting your skin. So you're oiling your skin. And if you don't, if you're not wearing full sleeved clothes, uh, then I would also advise you to apply this uh, on your body or any other uh, sunscreen that you prefer. Okay, so this is, um, oh yes, I forgot to tell you and do remember to apply uh, you know, a good lip balm generously. Keep it in your pocket if you need to reapply it because uh, this is also dry season so the lips can get very, very chapped. Plus also it protects your lips against any harmful colors. So um, I think this would be our pre-holy uh, protection and in the next part of the video we are going to look at how to clean up all the color that you might get on yourself. 
So here you are after a long day of playing Holi. Well, this is only a simulation, so obviously I don't have any color on my hair, but you will have color on your hair as well. And of course, I have a full face of color. Uh, I, of course, play with very safe colors. I play with Haldi and um, Kumkum. If you come to play Holi at my place, you will be greeted with Kumkum and Haldi at my place. So anyway, let's get started with the post Holi skincare. So the first thing that we're going to do is you will not go, you're not going to put water right away on your face. What we are going to do is take a soft cloth. Don't take tissue paper. I've seen some people using tissue paper, but I feel it's just too rough on the skin and it tends to rub in more product than it is. So take a soft hand towel. I usually take a very soft hand towel and begin by dusting very lightly. Don't, don't go in too hard and don't rub it too hard, but just go in very lightly and get all the loose color of your face. So you've got a good color here. So what we are really doing is getting rid of the looser, drier color on the surface. We will go in for a more deep cleanse when um, we are done with brushing off of the excess color. So I think I'm this might take longer because this is only one or two layers. You will have more during Holi, I hope. And once uh, that is done, you can see my hands are stained as well. And once that is done, uh, you can use a cleansing oil, a cleansing balm, um, anything you wish. Uh, I have already demonstrated uh, the use of uh, cleansing balm to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate with oil today. Now apricot oil is also very safe on oily skin. So you can uh, go in with, um, you know, without the fear of the apricot oil kind of clogging your skin's skin, I'm sorry. But in any case, we are going to wash it off with a good face wash. So even if you do use a coconut oil or any other oil that you have, uh, that you may have at home, uh, that will be perfect for the purpose. So I'm going to take some oil on my palm. I wonder if you can see this. And apply it generously over my face. At this stage, the color is going to spread. So don't worry about that. Now, once you are done with this, uh, just splash some water as you would with any cleansing oil or balm and emulsify and rub it out. So I'm going to do that emulsify but I will tell you about what I will do in stage two because I will wash my face and come back before the camera and that is use a good uh, face wash so currently I'm using the mango seed uh, uh, face wash it gently foams and doesn't strip the skin uh, of essential oils um, so I think uh, you need to go in for a face wash which is not too harsh because already we've used oils to you know, loosen all those color pigments that are sitting on our face. So I'm gonna wash my face and come back. So there we are, I've come back after a face wash and I feel completely clean. And now for your hair care. So just like uh, how we dusted off the color off of our face, uh, you can do the same with a soft towel across your hair, you know, dust off the loose uh, color. And you've already got a layer of oil there, right? And let a lot of water run through your hair, uh, rinsing off, um, you know, the color uh, that the dusting has not gotten through. And then go in with your favorite shampoo. Uh, currently, I'm using the Juicy Chemistry Baobab uh, Guava Leaf and uh, Tea Tree Shampoo. Um, but this is an organic shampoo, so I'm not really sure whether this will really get all the color off. Uh, but you are free to go in with... Uh, any kind of color sorry you are free to go in with any kind of shampoo uh, that suits your hair suits your hair type don't forget to um, condition your hair after that and then of course follow up with your favorite hair serum and this should take care of your post holy um, skincare and hair so this should look so this should take care of your post holy skin and hair care so I'm signing off, wishing you a very, very happy Holi and do let me know in the comment section below whether these tips were useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and switch on the notifications bell 
So if you want to know more about my skincare and hair care routines and what I have learned through all my experiences, uh, do come over and join me at Instagram. I'm going to link my Instagram um, profile in the description section, in the description box below. And don't forget to click it and follow me there as well so that we can form a community where we can help each other with all our skin, hair care, beauty, uh, wellness, right? So I'm going to sign off now. Happy Holi. Bye-bye.